All right. Well, the move that maybe not the biggest story that, of the day for everyone, but a big story, I think. Big story for me and for Bucks fans and just in general. Levante David, one of the bit best uh, free agents still on the market, re-signs for Tampa Bay only for $7 million. Uh, you know, uh, it's very surprising. I guess $7 million guaranteed deal. We don't know the actual details. I'm assuming he can gain some more, and I'm assuming he will gain some more. Um, but they keep him in the building. He will be 33 years old. Little surprised. Uh, no one went out and was able to, uh, you know, outbid that. I would have thought, you know, I heard like the Bills were after him. It would have made sense, I thought, for like the Bills or the Bengals, one of those uh, top uh, AFC teams to try to kind of get a, a Travis Kelsey, uh, you know, a weapon against Travis Kelsey, perhaps. But uh, no, he wanted to be in Tampa Bay all his life. He talked about how he wanted to play his whole career in Tampa Bay. It's only a one-year deal, but feels like he will play the rest of his career uh, in Tampa Bay now because this was the year they were most up against the cap. They do decide to keep Levante David. And it does make you think now, I don't know, could this Tampa Bay team be decent again? Weak division, that obviously plays into it. They have a very good defense. They didn't have a great offense last year. Like, that's kind of the thing is, well, yes, losing Brady is going to hurt a ton, and I don't think that they have a great ceiling because of that, but could they be decent? I actually think it's possible, especially now that they've re-signed Dean and David. Uh, they're kind of two biggest free agents, and it's more of a, almost a disappointment if you're a fan of another team who's maybe hoping you could get Levante David, because trust me, this guy is incredible, and don't let the age fool you. I think he's coming off of one of his best seasons as a pro, and we're going to get into that once we get into the film in just a second. But as a whole, huge fan of this, uh, you know, of this as a Buccaneers fan, super happy. I'm just glad he's back. I didn't want to see him in a different uniform. I wanted to see him stay Tampa Bay forever. It feels right, right? Levante David should be a buck for life. Well, now he's probably going to be a buck for life. He'll, he'll at least be a buck for one more season. And let's talk about what he does so well for the Buccaneers. Before we get into the film, let's start off with this little chart, uh, not, not chart, but I guess graphic of uh, PFF has of their top free agency uh, players who are on the market. Levante David ranked sixth among free agent players, so definitely they view him very highly as they should. I mean, you look at the numbers towards the right, uh, you see that, you know, uh, last year, he was PFF's third highest graded linebacker. In 2020, he was PFF's fourth highest graded linebacker. And then, oh, he had a down season and was only a top 15 linebacker in 2021. Been very good. You also look at his PFF war for each of those years have been very good as well. He certainly, well, it's a position that, that tends to uh, get talked about as not an overly important position. He still racks up a good amount of war. Uh, you know, you'd, you'd take that for a good wide receiver, let alone a linebacker. So there you go. Uh, they projected for a two-year, 22 total million dollar contract. So, you know, if you're interested in that, but let's talk about the film. And I think the film really shows how dominant he is. So first, let's start off with this play, and I apologize that it's a little blurry right now. It gets better in just a second, trust me, but uh, as what's happening right now, it's a play designed to pick on linebackers, right? This is a simple play that teams run all the time, and they run it all the time because it typically works all the time. It's a very effective play where you run the play action, get linebackers out of position, and then you have, the, in this case, Cooper Cup running a deeper route kind of over the middle where it's going to, hopefully, with Lamonte David stepping in, you can throw over the top of him. That's that's kind of the idea and the strategy here. Levante David, of course, he's the one who I've highlighted. You know, the zone that he's covering is the one in white. And watch how when this play begins, David does step in a little bit. He respects the play action. But once he realizes it's not, look at what he's doing with Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup's going to try to run behind him and just watch how well he covers him. I mean, look, as you see, David is just completely all over that the entire time to where when Stafford finally did throw it, it we went to a different Tampa Bay player. Uh, you know, maybe with a perfect throw and a perfect catch, that would have been a completion. You can say that about literally every single uh, play, right? There's always going to be a way you can win as an offense. All you can do as a defender is make it difficult. And this is Levante David going up against a star wide receiver and not just holding his own, but really shutting it down, which is just goes to show the impressiveness that he has. Also in the run defense game, he definitely is someone who he just, he gets around blocks as good as anybody, you know, ever. Basically, he's so good at this stuff where it's going to be a double team and then the guard is going to get off the double team and get up to block Levante David and just watch the guard here. 
Watch a 71, you know, uh, really doesn't even try to double team. He quickly tries to get to Levante David. It still doesn't work out. He still cannot uh, block David because David read the, reads the play so well, he's able to get over and he's able to help make that play. And again, he does this consistently. When you watch his tape, you just notice him doing this stuff constantly. He's a very noticeable player. Uh, even though he doesn't necessarily play in a flashy style, he just plays his style so well that you still notice him. Like, this one's going to be another one where the, the kind of the main thing to talk about here is, so he's in, initially in charge of just covering the middle of the field. He's not playing man coverage. I mean, the, the Buccaneers are playing man coverage, but he's not covering anyone one-on-one. -on -one. He's just covering the middle of the field. However, before I show the play, uh, I'm just going to set up that there's going to be switches on this play because there's a lot of motion, and so a lot of guys are going to end up covering different players. Watch how one this play begins. Okay, you see that now Levante David covering a wide receiver instead just because of the situation, but watch how good of a job Levante David is going to do in this spot. Watch him actually step in front of that route. He nearly had an interception, and if he did, he could have been gone right there. Uh, that was a great play from Levante David, and again, he's just one of those guys who you don't feel confident in getting open against. You really do not. This play is another good example where this time it is going to be a, a man coverage play, and he is he's covering a tight end one-on-one. -on -one. And listen, this is a guy who can cover tight ends one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, ask Travis Kelsey in the Super Bowl. Uh, I know he had a ton of yards in that game, but that was uh, once the Buccaneers started playing zone in sort of the fourth quarter. Uh, he gave up very little against Tra Travis Kelsey and covered him very well. He can cover, you know, great tight ends one-on-one. -on -one. In this situation, what, t what Green Bay is trying to do is get the ball to the 30-yard line. It's a third down. They have to get to the 30. That's the situation. So, okay, you see the route on the screen. Seems like a route that could work, right? Seems like you could get to the 30-yard line that way. Right when this play begins, however, you do see that with David, he's covering it relatively well, but maybe it could still be a catch and fall forward. That's kind of what Rodgers, I think, is thinking right here. As you see, Rodgers does make the throw, but David never gave up separation and makes the immediate tackle to not allow the first down. Again, just a smart play by David, knowing where he is on the field, knowing you don't have to try to knock the ball out, let him catch the ball, just make the tackle right after, and now you have a fourth down. Just a good play by David. And again, these are the things he does so well. He doesn't get himself out of position, and if he is a step out of position, he can come back in position. He's, you know, maybe the best coverage linebacker in football right now. He completely can shut down certain players and he's an incredible uh, guy in the run defense game and despite it being a position that many people say isn't as important as some other positions well he shows that you can still have tremendous value at the linebacker position at least that's what I think what do you guys think let me know in the comments below always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching